Welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and today we're going to be doing a comprehensive farming guide for Avatar Generations. I've had a couple people in the comments ask me, how do you have so many high level characters, what's your farming method, how do you level stuff up so fast, so we're going to be going through that for with you today. If you want an in-depth guide on doing like ascending a character, I'll have a link up the top there for you now, if you want just that specific stuff there. Uh, but we'll use elements of that, but we'll do basically a daily routine for you if you like. Uh, so sit back, relax, and let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to check is our adventure pass. You should be doing these every day, especially if you're just starting out. We'll go to the South Pole. Everyone has South Pole unlocked, so then we can just go over the basics for you. Uh, so just a quick recap. If you've done, uh, if you've walked on a path, they will turn gray. If you haven't, they will still be white. So as you see, I've done, I've walked from one node up here. This is just one node here. We click our rewards here. And look at that. We get some beads. We get some training scrolls, adventure points, all that nice stuff there and some uh we're gonna call this fur uh we'll just call it what it is it's just caribou fur essentially for the uh boss battle which i'll explain a bit later for you another way to get resources is to do your battle nodes so if we click here you've got some extra energy you've done all your stuff for the day we can fast travel we'll do a battle as you see as long as i have no fire nation units and it's ang's timeline which this team fulfills here then we can get these rewards here. So a couple of furs just for the boss battle. We get some gold and these owl wolf feathers. These are specifically tied to Wolf Cove. So it, most areas will have like their own little resource that you can uh, turn in for rewards. This is the Wolf Cove one. This is why I want to do Wolf Cove instead of just a random one. And how we do that is we go over here. You see this little icon, uh, this little gold one with the little coins on it. We'll fast travel there with our team. And we'll hit resource so for every 10 wolf feathers we get or we turn in we can get some of these rewards so as you see some blue arts which is really nice especially early on uh, if you need to kind of boost your power up a little bit uh we also get some fur which is nice uh lets us do our boss battles uh training scrolls arts upgrades just to level up uh your art and you've got your lychee nuts and your brushes for your supports and your relics and then you also have a chance to get some blue beads which is really nice as well so what we'll do is we'll have we'll do one now for you just so you can see what we can get they say thank you where you have saved our lives we are eternally grateful look at that we got some we've got a blue mask which is nice uh we've got some uh beads and some brushes as well so always nice and dandy and then grand grand's like thank you for that really we appreciate it so if you're just starting out you want to be doing that pretty much every day getting those extra resources is nice getting those arts is really nice as well lets you kind of push forward especially with the uh bigger base stats because of uh obviously a blue art or a two star art is better than a one star art uh but if you're relatively still early game or even mid game you want to be going to the patola mountain region and going to the southern air temple i still farm here to this day uh the reason is this little area down here where i've got my little avatar ang where he's doing his uh time to node right now which is the one with the uh with the little hourglass on it if we go assign, we can see what rewards we're going to get. As you see, we get some skip tickets, which is really nice. I really do like skip tickets. If I'm in a rush, I can quickly do an event. I can quickly farm out some stuff. Uh, I can do my pirates domain and stuff like that. And you get your avatar Ang apples as well, which is nice. You want to come here because down here you get skip tickets. Up here with Katara, we're going to be getting some lychee nuts, which is good for upgrading your supports. And down here, we're going to... I'm actually going to throw a unit here now because I haven't got one, apparently. Yeah, so why not? As you see, we get some relic brushes for this one. And that'll let you upgrade your relics. And lets you get that little extra edge of like, damage, health, defense, whatever your relic is doing, essentially. Uh, so still a very good place to be farming. And last but not least, you want to be farming on a marshu. I'll leave a link up there for a playthrough if you need help with anything throughout the story mode there. I try and keep it relatively low so you can it's easy for people to do, but it's up there if you need it. Uh, as you see, we've got a couple of cool things here. Firstly... The adventure paths let's see what dojo master has for us this is a couple of paths so it'll be a bit more than usual but as you see we get a lot of blue materials here uh blue materials is probably after gold i would say blue materials would be the next bottleneck uh purple isn't really that hard and i'll explain that in a second uh we also have two timed nodes as you see i've got my uh Amashu soldier and my earth kingdom soldier here they're just gonna sit here and i literally keep them here 24 7 and just keep refreshing the node uh they fully mastered the level 70 so it's like may as well just throw them there uh, let's see what we get from this time node though we get some 300 arts which is really nice that's actually like one boss battle coin if that helps uh in terms of like how much value that is uh every eight or so hours and then we also get these little omashu vouchers uh they're pretty much like the wolf the owl wolf feathers in wolf cove but for omashu and how do we use those well we come over here 
to this resource node here, Jade's General Goods. We're going to send our uh, Dojo Master there, and he's going to go in and buy something with a ticket. As you see, two of these tickets, and look at the rewards we can get here. A lot of purples and a lot of blues. Really nice. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Jade. Thank you for giving me. Look at that. We got some easy offen purple offense bees. Best way to farm here. As I said, I keep these people here constantly uh, rotating out just their abilities. And I have how many tokens? I've, I still have 39 tokens uh, to use. So that's a big like boost of energy right there. I actually have to sit here and, farm and do this so I can get those rewards, you know? And that's really it for the adventure pass, really. As you said, just do your daily walks. You'll get those extra resources. But if you can get to a marshal, you're going to be boosting the progress that you have right there. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is boss battles. And why are we going to talk about boss battles? Well, they give you some boss battle coins, which is very good. Uh, so when I was a younger account, I would be going, I need to do stage one Zuko, stage one Aang, stage one Unagi and all that. But the problem is, like, especially with Unagi, uh, if we go into the Unagi battle, you have to use air and water benders. So for most people, this is going to be the team you have. Uh, you can't throw Aang because you can only have one Aang in the team, obviously. Uh, but most people won't, if it's, especially if this is later on uh, when we don't have the banners, like Keywalk, we don't, you can't really get any more uh, until they redo the banner or something like that. Tagak is a summon, Park is a summon. So for the most part, free to play units, these are the two you're going to use. But what I could do is I could take all those Unagi fins I have. If I go to shop and I go to adventure, we can actually swap all our Unagi fins over to say our apples. And why would we want to swap them over to our apples? Well, the reason is Avatar State Aang is actually a pretty easy boss fight compared to the other three. And the reason for that is really because Blind Bandit Toph, she's worth 500 nature stones for most uh, beginner accounts and stuff. Uh, I really do like her, her passive ability. She will gain stacking attack whenever she's hit with an AoE. So good thing about that, Avatar Aang does a lot of AoEs. It's really a counter made in heaven if you think about it. So let's put a team in here. All right, we're even going to do a little bit of a gameplay for you because why not? So this will be the team we throw in. Pretty free to play accessible, if anything, technically blind, blind Bandit Toph isn't. And depending on how they're going to do the Kyoshi timeline stuff, you might not get uh, Earth Kingdom Kyoshi. But worst case scenario, throw whoever you got in there. And what you see, what? We'll do a big hit. Toph's going to go into Horse Stance and she's going to boost her attack. I also have an attack, a full attack set on her, so she's got stonky attack right now. The reason we got Earth Kingdom Soldier, Earth Kingdom Earth debuffs, very good. And as you see, Aang's is going to keep hit, doing a lot of AoEs and stuff. Uh, Zuko's going to do a spin kick. And then a counter attack. Look at that, already on tier 2 Earth. And the good thing about the Earth debuff is... Uh, we lost Zuko, that's unfortunate. The good thing about the Earth debuff is uh, we can actually stun with it. So we're going to do some big hits here. Now let's just see some big damage we can do right now. Right, let's just do uh, let's just do an A R uh, advanced skill with our Toph. Look at that, sixteen thousand! My goodness, and we have an Earth debuff on there. So as you see now, we've got there we go. Look at that, a stun, beautiful. We're just gonna do a basic eleven thousand, and that's just the stacking attack she's getting right now. She's at six thousand uh, health right now. We're just gonna do a basic because he has the Earth debuff stun. Look at that, beautiful. It is a 50% chance, uh, but, I mean, 50% it's pretty consistent. There's been, like, maybe two instances I can think of where an Earth 3 debuff hasn't stunned someone. And now, as we all know, when you use an ultimate, you want to use your highest attack. 6,000 attack, let's see how much damage we do. Three Earth debuffs on the team. And, yeah, as I said, Avatar State Aang, I figured this out pretty early, actually. I actually should have made a video on it earlier. I just haven't really gotten around to it. Uh, but this is pretty much what I'll be doing. You'll see, we'll see when we go into the store. Look at that, my goodness. And look how many Earth debuffs. There's four chances, 50% of the time, he's going to get stunned. So we'll just do another finishing hit here. There we go, beautiful. Good work, Kyoshi. And Kyoshi smack talking like a pro, and I love it. And as you see, we get some really good rewards here. You got some talismans, which lets you get from level 60 to level 70 uh, for specific units. We get some purple rewards as well. We even got a purple art set if you need that. Look at these blue beads, blue mind. My goodness, we've got nine mind beads. That'll be really good. And as you see, we get these little avatar Aang coins and generic boss coins. 
Uh, so I'm going to call these Aang coins or whoever it is coins and then just boss coins. That'll be these ones just for the remainder of the video. So you know what's going on. Okay. So that's the Avatar State Aang battle. And uh, yeah, all right. I've got pretty high level characters. The reason I have that though is because we need to get those boss battle coins and go into our boss battles here. And as you see, we got special resources and factions. All of these are very important. First off, we'll talk about special. We can get our art essences and stuff like that. If you need to level up some, uh, like your arts sets, you can do that. We've got summon tickets for specific coins. So as you see, I've already bought the Boomy, Aang, and Zuko ones. Uh, 12 free tickets a week. You may as well do it. Even if you do stage one five times a week, you'll be able to buy these. So that's always nice. And a bonus as well, if you have extra, as you see, I've got 66 Aang coins right now. Uh, I do buy the nature stones as well. Uh, that's what, 600 nature stones, I think. Yeah, 600 nature stones are up for grabs there. And then these art essences up uh, will refresh every single day. So you have a chance to get, I think it's 2,400 arts upgrades, which levels up two three-star arts from one to 15. Uh, if you, you know, that's a pretty easy way to get some pretty high end mods. It's obviously going to be a little bit lower for your one and two star. The next thing we're going to talk about is our resources, getting these beads. As I said, I've explained this in the Ascension video, but we'll just go over it quickly. Uh, as you see, you get nine beads for two of the two generic boss coins for your three star ones. That's 27 three star beads or purple beads for six boss battle coins. I've, I need to do one level one battle and I can buy all three of these. Uh, and if you need blue ones, you can get nine of them a week. It's a little less, which does suck. But you know what? You're going to eventually get up there anyway. Uh, this is really, as I said, this is why I said blue is the bottleneck, not purple. You can get purple easy. And then uh, I don't have them over here, but because I've already bought a lot of them. We've got our uh, three star stuff here. I, you can't really see it behind there. What's uh? That's kind of, you can kind of see that. That's the three star essence there anyway. All the three star ones are X9 and all your two star ones are X3. So if you're a little worried about that, that's what that means there. And this is how I get all my upgrade materials, essentially. I think I've bought one... I've bought one bead pack of Mind, Defense, and Offense since the start of the game. Everything else I'll farm them here. Yeah, I know. And then we go to Factions. And this is if you want to get from your level 60 to your level 70. These are all your talismans here. Uh, they're all five coins each. You can get nine of them a week. Uh, it's more just kind of to help you get them. And the last thing I want to talk about is the Event Store. Uh, this is... Not exactly ideal, but I'll explain why in a second. Uh, so this one, you get your Rise of Kyoshi coins. You can use that in the store. And you can get some extra upgrades here. You get some summon tickets, Peace and Chaos tickets. Uh, Nature Stone's always nice. Uh, over here, you get some boss materials and some Kyoshi tokens here uh, for the uh, timeline event or timeline um, activity. And over here, we've got Marcus of the Sea. Gives you extra, some purple materials down here. As you see, we get some kettles down here. Some blue singing bowls as well. Uh, we've got uh, energy and stuff. So as, you do, as you're playing the game, you're going to be doing these events. Make sure to claim these rewards. They give you a little boost as well. Uh, as you can see, I, I farm very diligently uh, getting all this stuff going. I've got to do the uh, Avatar's training one, obviously. Uh, the reason I say it's not ideal is because there's actually no footage here obviously uh a couple of times that we've had these events they've had talismans in here as well so you could get from level 60 to level 70 but as you see avatar's training we can also get some mind beads as well which is nice and one thing i wanted to harp on quickly before uh, i finish up the video is going to be focusing a character so for example let's say mind ang like everyone will have mind ang is the base character that you get i know that i need to get these singing bowls meditation beads and air elements if I use my energy to farm out those air elements, I do my boss battles, I can buy those meditation beads and the singing bowls. All I really need is gold, which I'll be doing Pirates Domain anyway, to get that free gold income as well. And we can level him up, get him, you know, it's not too hard to get all this stuff, level him up, level him up, and then boom. We, If you get him to level 60, I would call that a pretty good stopping point, and then you can work on other characters as you slowly build up these air nomad talismans there. Uh, for him and if you want if you're you know nerdy like me again i have a notepad in front of me uh with all the masteries of all the characters so i know what i need to work on but if you like you could go all right let's say why is she not the shaders are working what's going on um <laughs> if i go to kiyoshi for example i know that she uses incense defense beads and earth elements they're three different things to aim so I, if I'm doing a lot of uh, daily stuff and getting my boss battle coins, I could buy the meditation beads and the incense as well. 
and I can level up two characters at the same time. And if you're really smart, we could come to Zuko, and as you see, he needs candles and med and offense beads and fire. So there are all three different things that I could farm throughout the week to level up three characters at once. It probably won't work as nine times out of ten, it's either candles or uh, or the singing bowls that I need. Uh, but you know, if you want, that's some way to look at it. You could even just like focus one character and then just slowly work on two others. Uh, always helpful as well. Alrighty, I hope that helps everyone. I hope that you get, you know, efficient farming method. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips. I'm sure any new players would really appreciate that. Uh, let me know if uh, you think I've missed anything and any questions at all, I will answer them to the best of my ability. But of course, we do need to finish it off with a bit of a summon. Uh, who do we want to summon? Look, let's do the Rise of Kyoshi one. I haven't done a Rise of Kyoshi banner summon in so long. So let's just give it a shot. Come on, Kyoshi. Give me the good stuff. And again, farm efficiently, you get sunsets, apparently. The other thing I farm in this game... Oh, hello, puppy. We've got the inheritance, which is nice. Let's see how many skill coins I get, because I do need some skill coins. That would be very lovely. Get any. I mean, we got a lot of light, at, light of loud guys, though, which is interesting. Alrighty, thank you all, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, I will see you in the next video, whenever I upload it. Catch you around.